Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. The feedback I get is incredible. I love it. The interaction is really why I continue to do this. It drives me to do more and I think I have a good one today. Now the last Is This Pistol Still Relevant video featured the HK USP Expert. This has a 5.2 inch barrel. It's on a limited production from HK which tells me that perhaps it's not really relevant. But the problem is the price tag. You're looking at between $1,200 and $1,500 for this handgun. And the feedback that I received was, cool handgun, yes, it's relevant, but not at that cost. And not in today's market, because in today's market, you can get so much more for, say, $1,300. Perhaps optic ready, a steel frame, a 2011, well... Some in some cases, anyhow, but you get the point. They say there's so much more that I would choose over that, it's sort of irrelevant. So, although it's relevant as a fine handgun, it's irrelevant because of the price tag. And that, by and large, was the majority of the comments I received. But today is going to be a little different. I think this may drive some thought. Stick with me on this, and we're talking about the Ruger Security 9 Compact. Now, when the Security 9 came out, it was a huge hit. Then when the Compact came out a year later with a 3.4 inch barrel, it was met with much approval, very much so. It's a hammer fired gun. It has great ergos to it. People love the trigger and the overall feel of the handgun. No argument there. This is why I'm choosing the gun. I'm gonna tell you right now. It ships with two 10 round mags. Now in today's world, 10 rounds is not enough. You look at the Springfield Armory Hellcat, the Ruger Max 9, okay? This is currently has 11 rounds and it's so much smaller. Now are people choosing larger CCW handguns today? Yes, I think so. And the market has, has gone in that direction where they're producing 3.7, 3, three and a half inch barrel, 3.42 inch barrel, which is what this is. So although it checks all the boxes with fine ergos, nice sh shooting impressions, decent sight picture, nothing special, the price, 369s to current MSRP, that's all great. But what it is lacking is capacity, and Ruger has not made the change. You look at the FNS 9C, 12 rounds. CZP 10S, 12 rounds. Sig P320X Compact with the 15 round mag, shifts with two. Same size, essentially, maybe a little bit different, either or. But it's essentially a mid sized handgun with, in this case, very low capacity. Now they do it give you the extension so you could change that out so that you get three finger contact and i did that but it shifts with two 10 round mags yes you could put a 15 round mag in from the original security nine and that will stick down a bit but why hasn't ruger come up with a a 12 13 round mag they did it with the max nine and it's so much smaller so is smaller better no a lot of people will tell me something like this is too small for their hands they want something like this but they also want capacity and that has driven the market you look at what has happened with the subcompact nine millimeter double stack mag handguns it has flourished it's completely skyrocketed and every company is making their version of it ruger did as well but when the Security 9 Compact came out. People loved it. They said, I love the budget price, and I do too. Let me just say, I love this gun. In my eyes, it's completely relevant. But in terms of carry, in terms of capacity, does it meet the threshold of, I would say, 12 plus 1, maybe 13, perhaps 15 plus 1, at least give that option? It does not. So the greatest question is, is this pistol still relevant? I think we can all agree that, the pistol itself is relevant, but is the capacity relevant for a handgun of this size? That's the driving inspiration behind this video is to ask that question. Is the Security 9 Compact still relevant with 10 round mags? All right. And in that case, much like the HK that I just featured, people said you can get more for the money than 
you can with the HK USP Expert. Well, can you get more for the money than you can with the Ruger Security 9 Compact? Or would you still go with the Compact and sacrifice a couple rounds to get those 10 round magazines? That's the question. Is this pistol still relevant? Can't wait to hear your thoughts. And so long as you guys are still watching, I'll keep producing the series of videos. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.